Hey everyone, Crazy Canuck coming at you here from uh, Ozarks, Missouri, as usual. After a few videos of what you've seen of uh, all the problems I've had uh, moving to a new climate, new area, new soil, with moles and all kinds of different things and trying to get a garden going, uh, it'd be similar to somebody who just learns about the Grand Solar Minimum and the problems coming up and uh, just uh, has, has issues trying to get, get started. I've been following a lot of different growing systems over the years and uh, I think I came up, I'm gonna try something that's uh, cheap and easy that anybody can do anywhere. Uh, so we're gonna give it a try. It's gonna be a bucket system. So we've got a bucket here. Pick this up, I think, I think this came from Walmart, it was a dollar for the bucket. Here's a, a fancy tool. This thing is priceless. So I've got a fitting that I found laying around here. So I'm gonna make a hole, just big enough so I can thread this in. Now, I'm gonna make the hole a little bit higher up off the bottom so it creates a bit of a reservoir, which makes watering a lot easier. And we just keep keep drilling until we go down one step, one step at a time. Nice little step drill. Now one step at a time until we can actually screw this in. Just one more step. And there we have it. We can screw this screw this in here. So we'll get that in. like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just an experiment. Next, take a uh, paint strainer. It should be a bigger one, but this is all I've got, so this is what I'm going to use. Put it on there. <clears throat> and the next thing we're going to do is put in some perlite. So this is the perlite I got. It was extremely hard finding perlite anywhere. So I have to get some off Amazon and uh, this is a hydroponic perlite, whatever that means. And it looks like it has an easy to open thing here. Oh, look at that. Don't even have to break out the knife. So we take the perlite and we fill, fill the filter. Out kind of nice. Put that on there, make sure it stays on here. There we go. Could use a little bit more. Good thing I bought two. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do for this experiment is I took a bean from the garden that was kind of crowding out, uh, you know, it was like uh, crowding the other beans. I'm just gonna plant this straight in here. If I can get it dug down. in there nice. Now <clears throat> what I'm going to use to water it is a mixture. The tea that I have over here is uh, made from the grass clippings and weeds and stuff that I that I used to make a tea and it's right now sitting at about 1800 EC and 4.8 pH. I've got water in another barrel with some water plants in and they're sitting at uh, a lot lower EC and a lot higher pH. pH is about 8. So I mixed 
the two together. So I've got a liquid that is uh, right around 1000 EC and the pH is at five. So that's what we're gonna start with and we'll see how things proceed after that. So basically all it is is just run the water in And if this works, you can set this up on a system with uh, more buckets and drains and pumps and all kinds of good stuff. But this is as simple as it gets. If you really have to, you can set this up and water everything by hand a couple times a day. And as this, as this uh, goes through the system, we will be checking uh, what's coming out. We'll be checking EC, we'll be checking pH, all kinds of good stuff like that. So... That's how we're going to try this experiment. Um, I'll keep giving updates on this whenever I can, and uh, we'll see how things work out. So, with a quick and dirty uh, growing system here. So, as usual, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and let's grow some food. <laughs>